here with uh, Coach Mike McGuire of Country Day. You've had an outstanding program and you've traveled around the country to prove it. Now you get a chance to host a home game, so to speak. You must be excited. Yeah, we're really excited. Tim and I have been talking about this. Uh, Tim Bird at, at Riverside have been talking about this for about 10 years. You know, well, how can we do something that's, that's really big? And, you know, we both travel and I guess the last six or seven years we've done fairly well, you know, out of town. But it's nice to bring other people to our city because people want to come here, you know, and they want to come and enjoy our uh, communities and, and, and our culture. Um, and then our basketball is really good. I think people are going to find out that although we're bringing in some top teams across the country, that some of these local teams are really good. And um, I think, you know, Mac 35 and Riverside and Salmon, um, you know, we, we've got some really good teams. Uh, Brother Martin won the state championship last year. They'll be competitive. I think we'll be competitive. So it's a great venue. Um, the Punch Train Center out there is going to hold about 4,000. So we hope to pack it and, and bring excitement back to, you know, high school basketball. And you talk about the importance of being able to hold an, a, a tournament like this locally as opposed to having to go out of town. The Sugar Bowl, a big reason clearly why this is happening. A, a football-based organization throwing its weight behind prep basketball. It's got to be exciting that this was able to come together. Yeah, the Sugar Bowl has been outstanding, as Ed said, with all of sports. But but when they include basketball, uh, you know, a basketball junkie like myself, uh, we really appreciate their sponsorship and their support and all the media coming out. Uh, we think it's going to be a big event. Um, these events across the country usually take about 10 to 15 years to really cultivate, and we think we can do it over the next you know, three or four years to have it to be one of the top in the country. Because when these people leave and they talk about the experience they had in New Orleans, the other teams are going to want to come. So, And it's a good time of the year. It's right before district. Uh, people are excited about being in. Uh, football is winding down at the college ranks. And um, so it, it's a good time for, to have the tournament. So we're excited. I think you know the Punch Train Center, those people in Kenner will really enjoy the, the attention of, of high school basketball. And uh, we hope that we're competitive. And talking about being competitive, people that look at your program and follow college basketball, follow recruiting, they know the names of Eddie Ludwig and Matt Derenbecker. Mm -hmm. Tell us what's left. Are you a program at this point that's been fortunate enough to be able to reload, try to get back and win the state title game this year? I'm, I'm sure that's obviously the yeah, ultimate goal. Yeah, the ultimate goal is to get back there. We do have a little bit of rebuilding to do this year. We do have a kid by the name of Travis Avery that's six foot seven, and we have a six four kid that's a freshman. Uh, Travis is a junior, and, and but we do have some kids that have been playing in the system, and so they know they know how to compete. They know what we do during the basketball season, and their goal is to get back to the Cajun Dome. So we we think we. Have have you know really good players and and they know the system and so we're hoping that come March that you know we're playing our best ball. And as a Class 1A school, there are some top programs at the top, but this kind of competition early in the season, traveling to tournaments, this Sugar Bowl event, you're certainly going to know where your team stands and how you need to improve. Yeah, and that's what we do. This we we play a really really tough pre-district schedule, and this is a pre-district you know tournament that that you know we, we will travel also to Dallas and 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 play in a really big tournament there. But we think that this one will be our best tournament. You know that we. We, we can, we, we'll be in shape, all the kids that are coming from football, we'll, we'll have our system, all of our plays in, and now we'll find out where do we stand against the best in the state, and, and maybe in the country, some of the best teams in the country. So um, we, we, you know, we look forward to it, our kids relish it, and each year they talk about, Coach, where are we going, what, you know, what big teams are we going to play this year, and if we can play competitively in this tournament, then in 1A we have a really good chance to get back to the cage though. And basketball fans from around the region will be looking forward to your program and all these outstanding local programs to see how they match up against the that these national powers coming in just at first glance how do you think it's going to shake out locals versus these powerhouse teams I think we'll do well um, I think if we get our home base our fans out and and you know we'll have our crowds there and like I said we can fit almost 4,000 in the punch train center uh, we'll fit about 1,200 at country day um, we think that you know the home field advantage will, will truly be ours home court advantage I should say um, and I think that um, these these teams play a really tough brand of basketball in Louisiana, and sometimes when we go out of state, they're very skilled. They they have great offensive skills, but they don't really play the defense that we play down here in, in, in Louisiana. So I'm hoping that's the difference because we need, we that we're building our, our team this year on defense, and uh, we have a few offensive players, but we're going to have to be really good to, to be competitive. And before I let you go, I'd be remiss if I don't let you mention your own 
tournament, the Country Day tournament, which has been outstanding for many years, perhaps the best local tournament leading into the district season. How's that shaping up for another year? I appreciate that. Yeah, we have MAC 35, in fact, is in it, and they'll, they'll probably be the favorite. Salmon is in it as well. Um, we have Covington. We have a we have ten, a 10 team field. We have a team coming in from Georgia who is very, very good, Whitfield Academy. Uh, we have a team from Mississippi. So we do bring in people. We have a smaller version of the All-State Sugar Bowl, but uh, December the 20th through the 23rd is the Country Day Classic. And each year it attracts 50 to 60 college coaches. Uh, we, we've had all the best teams in the city, as well as I said, some teams we bring in from outside the city. Uh, St. Thomas More has been in the finals. Riverside has been in the finals. Uh, we've been in the finals. So it's been a great tournament, and uh, we're expecting you know, it to be another great tournament this year. It's going to be an exciting and full season of basketball for your oh, program, yeah. and this is going to be a big part of it with the Sugar Bowl coach. Thank you very much, and good luck. I appreciate that. Thank you. And we, thanks, thanks to the Sugar Bowl and all the media who have given us support. Well, we're looking forward to supporting this and obviously enjoying your program again on the hardwood. Thank you, Thank you thanks, coach. Sir.